What would happen if you harvested the planter of plenty a hundred times? Well, I wanted to figure out the answer to this question, so after spending the last 800 hours planting over a hundred planters of plenty and harvesting them all, and then putting all the rewards into a massive spreadsheet, yeah, you get quite a bit of stuff. So let's go over it. I'm sure the thing most of you are curious about is how many turpentine we managed to get. So the answer is 13 which is actually above average since there's only a 10% chance of getting turpentine when harvesting pop. Interesting facts about this. Our average turpentine per planter was 0.13. Our longest drought between turpentines was 34 planters of plenty. And twice we managed to get two turpentine at once, which is only a 1% chance. Now, heading over to the wax side of things. How many of each wax do we get? So, for caustic wax, we got 14. For swirled wax, we got 27. For soft wax, we got 1,212. And for hard wax, we only got 65. So from this, we can tell that swirled wax are about two times more common than caustic wax are. And swirled wax, you get quite a bit. And then there were three other items that I decided to track uh, with these 100 planners, which were tickets, gumdrops, and neon berries. So let's look at those numbers. For neon berries, we actually got a total of 2,367, which is a lot. Um, and actually, on average, we got around 21 per planter. For tickets, we got 562 total. Uh, which was about an average of around five per planter and uh, For gumdrops you can get a lot at once, but we actually only got 2,552 total uh, which is about an average of 25 per planter give or take so that's cool. So that's all the items that we tracked uh, Pretty cool stuff if you ask me if you want to check out the spreadsheet for yourself link is in the description You can go look at that um, so now I'm just going to show you the 11 or so planters that actually gave a turpentine. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, consider subscribing. Yep.